Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in the awesomely named and gained Chicken Police Painted Red. This brilliant point and click adventure was developed by the Wild Gentleman, published by Handy Games, and is usually available for £16.74, but is on sale quite often, so check it out. Now we play as a police officer who is a chicken. But it's not as you think it is. Everybody in this game has the body of a human and the head of a different animal, so I don't want anyone looking at something that could be considered sexy and enjoying it. Otherwise, that means you really love animals. If you catch my drift, and that is Rome. Super Rome. <laughs> now, as for achievements and trophies, there is the normal story related ones, a few easy missable ones, but the main brunt of it comes in the form of collectibles. Logs, basically for talking to, collecting and gathering every bit of info that we can grab. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't as long as you follow this guide to a T. Now again, I go fast with quite a hint of slow, so I'm not speeding ahead and that you can keep up. We also need to talk to every single character in the game, so everyone I speak to, you do the same and talk to them until all dialogue is exhausted. Otherwise, it's a top game with some funny bits, unlucky bits, but all round great bits. Also, you can skip all dialogue uh, with the A button or X on PlayStation, or to go even faster, pressing the B button, the circle on the PlayStation will skip over the dialogue altogether, creating a bit more of a faster run. So overall, this should take around one to two hours to complete. So with that being said, let's begin. And remember, do not get turned on, animal lover. <laughs> so as you can just see then, a lot we're gonna be doing is looking at the stats book. I'll be doing that a lot through the game just so that we're on the same page. So the first thing we need to do is look at our desk underneath and collect all three things in here. That's what we'll be doing. First, and apologies, uh, the game sort of went on a bit quick as I was still speaking. So now we are going to be speaking to uh, Deborah, and this is basically another another achievement that we need to do is basically get every single question correct on everyone that we interview. So obviously I'll tell you, and uh, you'll obviously see, and I'll tell you exactly the right ones to pick. So uh, interact with Deborah using the A button and use the speak option at the top there. And then when that happens, speak in her again, and then we can actually question her. So again, you can have a look at this if you want. Basically, just tells you what to do. <laughs> Why are you suspicious? I found that <laughs> pretty hilarious. Uh, so it's worth uh, checking it out if you want to do this bit yourself. But of course, if you just want to follow the video and follow along with the questions that I tell you to answer, then, you know, it's easy enough to do that. It's probably worth cautious. doing it so you don't have to go through the game again. But it's pretty good anyway. So, obviously the first one, who are you exactly? Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Then, why did you have to visit me on this particular why evening? This pr why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Think this whole thing is a Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Hey, and then, be honest, be honest. Tell, me tell me what, what are you so afraid of? So answering all eight questions correctly should get you the 100% focus accuracy, the nice work partner achievement, and the first living legend. So we need to do that for every single question here. So it's, again, very important that you follow me. Why so we're going to speak to Deborah once again, and this time... Um, again, just speak to her until all the dialogue completely runs out and she gives you the same sort of message. Then press right on the D-pad to go into your little bag, your little fanny pack right here. And then just click on the Caesar Club, Caesar, uh, using the A button. And that'll sort of come up with a bit of dialogue. Then we can press the B button to get out of it. And then once back here, then we'll be using the phone right next to Deborah. And then it's one of those annoying, you know, those old spinny boy phones, I suppose that's how it's set. They're not going to have exactly have mobile phones now, are they? But it's 555-932, that's the number. Then you just have to wait until the other guy speaks on the other phone, or the other end of the line, even. <laughs> Ooh, so yeah, quite a lot to get, quite a lot to sort of get through, especially when we're just slamming through the dialogue there. But hey, like I said, it's left to go into your sort of stats, your little books, see what collectibles you got. Right to go into your bag, obviously A then to interact with everything. 
But we're going to speak to Deborah once again. So every time we speak to someone, we're going to literally just di um, exhaust all the dialogue. Then the ask option comes up. Next, go scroll down to Eben Wessler, which should be the third option down for you. And then we can just back out of it. We don't need to ask her anything else for the time being. Whew. And then we can just speak to Lewis. And again, like I said, every time we speak to someone, we're just going to keep speaking to them until the uh, speech bubble either goes grey and we can't do it, or they just keep telling us the same thing. So press up now to go on up to your map. And then we're going to head off now to Clawville PD. Oh yeah, girl. And just press the B button to skip again the dialogue and all cutscenes. So a few things to do first while we're out in the pouring rain. We're going to speak to Orange Face Phyllis. Or Sif Phyllis. <laughs> and just keep speaking to her again until you get the same uh, dialogue option that they keep telling you at the end. So that's it. Why? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Then as soon as you're confident and happy with that, we're going to go inside. Next up, we are going to have a look at the collectibles. It's the first out of 10 collectibles on the bench right here. So make sure to grab the comic book collectible before we leave and then speak to Monica, the receptionist, on the left-hand side. See what I mean? Sexy bodies, but you've got a bird head. So it's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, so just keep speaking to her until she keeps telling you the same thing, which is, yes, boss bird. So hopefully you'll get that easily and very quickly. Then speak to Mort, the crocodile. Again, doing the same thing, exhausting all the dialogue, speaking to him as much as you can until he keeps telling you the same thing at the end. So there's that. Next, we are going to uh, speak to Bosco, who is directly next to him. Again, doing the same thing, speak, 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 until he keeps telling you the exact same thing. Keep up the good Keep up the good work. So once you're satisfied, head to the right using the right stick. That's where you can sort of this move left and right. And then go into the shooting range. We're going to speak to Marty. Hey, Marty. Again, doing the same thing. Speak, speak, speak until he keeps telling you the hey, same Marty. thing. And then we're going to be getting our first missable achievement, uh, which is for basically getting a score of 5,000 at the shooting range. So we'll keep speaking to Marty right here. Turn on the light switch right next to him and then interact with the shooting range itself, or shooting practice. So it's, it's extremely easy. You've done this probably in other games before as well. So press start, you press A to shoot. Obviously we're only shooting the bad guys. You have to press the B button, or the, again the circle on PlayStation to reload. So do that as quick as you can. Um, obviously there's a timer on the left hand side. So the more you hit, the slower the timer goes. Uh, Every time you miss, the timer goes a little bit faster. So even if you don't get the 5,000, you can just keep replaying this until you get the required score. You get literally an infinite number of tries. Try not to hit the elephant and the uh, there's something else with the baby as well. So it's easy enough, though. Easy enough. Remember, you've got to reload yourself. It doesn't do it automatically. Woo! I can have a breather. So as soon as you hit the 5,000, you can literally just wait for the timer to sort of nip on by, and then that should be good to go. You can carry on, see if you can beat Marty, but really, unless you've got OCD and you have to get the first one, then by all means, go for it. So back out of that, and you see this poster on the left-hand side. Again, just keep interacting with it until the same part of the last dialogue keeps popping up. And then with that, we should be good to go. But we're going to... Press left, uh, go into your book, have a look at your stats, just make sure that we got the same thing. If you're happy with that, then we can head on back outside. And we're going to talk to Blood Boil on the very right hand side first, the main dog. With the little chins. He looks cute, but again, we're with the human body, so keep speaking to him <laughs> until the dialogue options are all good. Have a look at the police crest to the next of him on the desk. Again, just keep interacting until the same dialogue, uh, the sort of last ending dialogue keeps happening, this bit of dialogue right here. Then we're going to talk to Bosco once again on the left there, or just to the left of the crest. So again, keep speaking until all dialogue is exhausted. 
and then we can actually ask him a question. So as you'll be able to see now, so ask him about the hop dog. That's all we need to actually ask him about. Don't worry about anything else for now. Uh, the hot dog, which makes me hungry because it sounds like hot dog, and yeah, I know that's the joke, but I love it. We're leaving. And I'm starving. Speak to Monica again. Keep speaking to her until she just keeps telling you the exact same thing. I have a strange. Like that. I have a we'll meet again tonight. She's not a prostitute. Come on, that's enough now. Uh, have a look at the city's crest right at the very top of the building, and again, we'll just keep interacting with that until the dialogue is no more. There it is, and now we can actually head back outside by pressing the B button. Again, there's another couple of things to do, so we'll have a look at the poster, which is just by the entrance, so have a look first. There is Blood Boy looking... I mean, he looks angry. Do, do, all, do all police animals look that angry? I'm not sure. And we have a look at the bullet holes to the right of the entrance now, again, interacting with everything until the uh, same dialogue keeps appearing. That one... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I really took the piss with that one. <laughs> and then press up on the D-pad, and then press left or right on the D-pad to go to our specific location. We go into the hop dog this time. So, first thing we're doing here, there is a collectible right next on the floor, right next to the fly guy playing the guitar. So make sure to pick that up. That should be collectible 2 out of 10. And then we're actually going to look on the left-hand side there at the fly guy. So again, just keep looking at him until the same dialogue option keeps coming up. The same dialogue keeps coming up. Sorry. Again, do the same thing. We're just going to speak to, to the fly guy now. Um, and we're actually going to call him bug poor bug eyes, which is it's a bit harsh, just because uh, Mesut Ozil isn't playing for Arsenal at the minute. No need to call him Bug Eyes, is it? That's, that's, that's not very nice. But anyway, with that one, we can now look at the Hive, which is the big sort of tower-looking thing behind the Fly Guy. So again, keep interacting with that until you can... Well, I suppose you can still interact with it, but the dialogue keeps saying the same thing. And then we're going to head inside the old Hop and Doggin. So that will unlock an achievement then, that's just for visiting the Hop Dog story related, you can't miss this one. And now we're going to look at Zip a few times. So just take a look at him a couple of times first, again until the dialogue is the exact same, every time. And then when we are done checking him out and looking at him, he looks kind of pathetic doesn't he really, I'm sorry. In Animal World he'd be cute, but with human body he am not cute. Again, so we're going to keep speaking into him, again, exhausting the dialogue until the same dialogue comes up. And then we're going to ask him, eventually, I mean, seriously, eventually, there it is. So then just choose the option, Zar Club, or the Caesar Club, or the Gazar Club. Depends how you want to say it, really. Gazar Club. Depends how exotic you are. Anyway, that's all we need to ask him. Then we're going to look at the menu behind him and again just interact with that until the same thing keeps happening, until the same dialogue keeps happening. Back out of here then, go to the left, have a look at the poster by the jukebox and then again keep interacting with that until the same dialogue happens. And then I think we are done with this area for the time being. So we come back out, we're going to press up to have a look at our map and then we're going to go to the Hotel Atlas. I mean, it sounds posh, but as you can tell, it is, well, well, I mean, it looks all right. Like, it don't look too bad. I've stayed in worse hotels, I can tell you that much for free, abroad. So we're going to have a look at the pictures on the back of the wall. Have a look at the Wild Gentleman, which is the top left one. Again, keep interacting with that until it, obviously the same thing. And then the right bottom one, Good Times. So the Wild Gentleman, Good Times, keep interacting with those, and then we should be good to go. That's all we need to look at. You can have a look at the rest, but they, those two are the only ones that we need. So now we can go back up to the map and we go into the Zar Club this time. Or the Gizar Club. Because I am exotic. Uh, no, I'm really not. Really, really not. So, <laughs> have a uh, car's going past. First thing we're doing, have a look at the newspaper on the right-hand side. And again, just keep interacting with it. Tonight? Tonight? Then we're going to uh, actually keep speaking to the bouncer. Again, just exhaust all the dialogue with the bouncer. Or... So. 
So he's denying us entry because, you know, he's a jerk. So we're going to look at Lewis a couple of times until we get the speech option available, which it is now. So take a look at Lewis. I mean, rabbits are cute, but Lewis just looks... Doesn't look that good, does he? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, so keep speaking to Lewis until the speech option is greyed out. And then we can talk to Archibald. <laughs> And then uh, keep speaking to him, and basically he's going to now allow us entry, which is always nice. But a bouncer called Archibald. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious, but, you know, Archibald's a very popular name, right? Hmm, I'm pretty sure of it. Anyway, uh, we're going to go all the way to the left now and have a look at the bar and pick up the fancy whiskey. That is actually going to unlock us another achievement. And then... Fillmore, the bird staring directly at us. We're going to be speaking to him, but we'll speak to the bartender first. Again, just exhaust all the dialogue until you cannot know more. Which <laughs> he starts getting pissed off with us, which is which is always our job, isn't it? But we're going to look at Birdface here, which is Phil Phil Ma, sorry, not Fillmore. Again, we're going to keep looking at him, and then we're going to keep speaking to him until the. Uh, dialogue exhausts itself. Ibn! By the way, the little rat is Ibn. Or Ibn. Or Ibn. J just in case you didn't know who it was. So, there you go. Keep speaking to Filmar just a couple of times again until the dialogue runs out. Then we're going to be heading all the way to the right where Ibn Ibn is sitting. But first we're going to have a look at the four movie posters just behind him. So look at the movie posters. Again, keep interacting with it until the dialogue remains the same. So there should be four that we're going to be looking at. Bogan and the Bandicoot. And the Big Sheep. Which is for some reason a German film I just made up. I know, I know. I am incredibly talented. It's a classic. And take a look at the fourth one then. This done for hire. See, I could literally be an epic voiceover guy. I'm free for work. If anyone wants to pay me, I am more than happy to uh, help you out. Anyway, once we are done with the four, we're going to speak to Iben Eben, the rat face. Oh, it's very funny. Uh, so again, keep speaking to him until the same dialogue uh, keeps appearing. And then we're going to ask him about the Tsar Club. And that's all we're going to do, and then we're able to question him. So again, we have to ask him nine questions, nine of which we have to get right. So pay attention, and let's go for it. So, how did you feel when you heard of the blackmail? You seem a very busy man. May I ask what you do? You seem a very busy man. How are your alibis, Mr. Vessler? How are your alibis, Mr. Vessler? Is Were there any similar incidents in Natasha's past? Do you think one of her fans is the culprit? Do you think one of her fans? The mob boss and the pussy cat. How did you even meet? The mob boss and the pussy cat. Do you live in the same house as Natasha? Do you live in the same and so Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's so still Natasha going out. Like so if you got those nine, the exact same that I just did there, or eight, sorry, eight, nine, eh, same diff. That should be a 100% and the second living legend rating that you should get. Press B to skip the cutscene, and we can carry on, and Natasha, who? Well, that's a beautiful looking pussy. <laughs> cat, she's a cat, you know, body, etc. Anyway, we're in her room. <laughs> Make sure to pick up the third out of ten collectible comic books, which is on her chair right there. And we're going to take a little look at the stats now. So make sure that the numbers are exactly the same as mine. As long as they are, then we should be golden nuggets to get on out of here. Take a look at the painting. Do not... Do not think that's sexy, because that would be wrong, as I've said. And then we're going to speak to Natasha now a couple of times until the dialogue uh, keeps running out again. And then we're actually going to be questioning Natasha. So, first one's first then, again. That was a memorable performance, or remarkable. The place is very elegant, and so is your room. <laughs> hey, we want a bit of Mrs. Katzenko, do we? <laughs> Dirty dog. Do you think one of your admirers you might be behind the threat? Admirers. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? Do you have any material evidence deep behind the diamonds? What was in those threats exactly? What, in those thre what about Filmar? Is he here because of you? What about Filmar? 
A dark shadow from the past, ex-lover? Let's stop beating around the bush and suck my... Uh, how do you know Molly? And finally, you played me from the start, didn't you? And with that then, if you followed exactly what i just done, that should be 9 out of 9 complete, 100% and the Living Legend rating again. So, all we need to do now for Natasha, we're going to uh, just speak to her again. And then what we'll be able to do for the first time, we can just ask every single question. So, just go through the complete list, ask her everything. We're going to get the Is This Love Achievement. And then we can finally leave. And sadly, Sunny didn't get his chicken balls sucked. Or his chicken neck balls. <laughs> And we're almost done with the Kizar Club. But first of all, head to the right and we're going to speak to Eben's little bitches, basically. So, Olivia, so look at her first, then speak. Keep speaking until the dialogue exhausts itself once again. And then with that, we're not asking any questions. We're just speaking until we can't anymore. And then look at the henchman on the left. Keep speaking to him again until the dialogue is good. Listen, pet. Then we're just going to head all the way to the left. We're going to talk to Phil Moore, or Phil Marr, Big Phil, so, Phil the Tank. Uh, again, keep speaking to him once again until all the dialogue is good, as it is right now. Take care of yourself, old bird. Press right to go into your bag, and then have a look at these, these sort of half-torn list on the right-hand side. So press the right bumper, or left bumper, to go over to it. And once it's highlighted, the list, just press it once or twice if you want to be extra doubly sure. And then we can press B to get out of it. And then we're going to ask old fairy balls, what kind of list is this? And then we can finally head on up, press up on the D-pad, go to the hot dog. And since we've interacted with everything outside, now we're going to head inside the entrance and we're going to see a little journalist. And boy, how he doesn't he look like a friggin' journalist. Oh, I don't know Timothy. why. I don't know why he does. But his name's Timothy. So again, speak to him until the dialogue is all good. And you can't speak to any him about anything else. And that's all we're doing for now. So head back outside. Press up on the D-pad. We go into your map. And we're going back to Clawville PD. I don't know, Sonny. So we've got nothing to do outside, so we are just going to head straight inside. Now this is basically the point where we're just going back and forth on the map now, so a lot more stuff's going to be happening. So we're going to be looking at Bosco a couple of times, so just keep looking again until the dialogue is the same and you can't progress any further. And then we're going to ask him just one question, and that is the strange list of names. So the other two we don't need to worry about for now. So once you've asked him about the strange list, back out and then have a look at the city's crest on at the very top there again. Again, we're just going to interact with it. We're just doing that for everything. Just keep interacting with it until the dialogue is done. So, you know, you should be sort of uh, used to that by now. But anyway, back on the map, we are now going to the weekend house. And so we are visiting the house for the very first time. Ah, uh, there's... So once outside then, have a look at the yellow shoe on the pavement, pretty obvious where it is. And it seems that Marty's got a bit of a foot fetish, which is quite weird with a guy for a chicken for a head. And then have a look at the big red whore writing. That, that's a bit, bit harsh to be honest, but stranger things have happened. Try and go into the entrance, but what we're going to actually do is go to the back of the car. And we're going to, why not? Get Big Bertha, the legendary shotgun. That could probably blow you away, I reckon. Not in a good way either. And then we can nip inside. She was lying on the floor as if she was wild. Go so this is a pretty unfortunate scene. <laughs> um, but we're going to look at the dead body first. I really don't know what to make of this image. It's body, it's butt with a tail sticking out of it, and it's deer head. Okay, so keep keep looking at whore, the whore writing on her back until we get the poor thing dialogue. And then have a look at the purse, just on the sort of bottom right hand corner there. Again, keep interacting with it until you cannot know more. And then have a look at the family photo on the fireplace, full of cats. So, I mean, she looked more like a deer, did she not? 
I really have no idea what's going on, but she's only 20 and she's dead, and that's very unlucky. Very unlucky. Have a look at the strange sculpture, but before you click on the very bottom, click on the top. Sort of the very top. Um, if you click on the bottom, it basically progresses the uh, story along and you miss out on a codex entry. So click that, sort of keep going down many times, and then click on the bottom one. So yeah, if you do that first, that means that, again, you miss out on the codex entry, so do not do that. So you'll have to replay the game up until this point. Have a look at the phone, and then we're going to use the number 555111. 1066. Bravo PD, how can I help? Like. So once the phone call's done, have a look at the safe, which is in the empty fireplace. Which is just underneath the family photo, and it's a very easy puzzle. So basically, the top left one's going to be the pelican, so leave that as it is. The second one is the sheep. Uh, so put it over to the sheep. There it is. In the bottom left-hand corner, the third one, that's going to be the lion. Rawr. I'm not very good at animal noises. And then the fourth one will be a fox. So when you do all four of them, you actually then have to interact with the middle of it. There you go. So if it, 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 it can be slightly a little bit confusing between fox and wolf. There we go. So that should be it. So you'll have to interact with it yourself. Doesn't do it automatically. But then we get another item out of it. So... Yeah, can't complain. Have a look in your bag now. Again, press on the right hand button. And then have a look at the small ripped off piece of painting. The sort of second option in. It's a piece. So a piece of a paint. So we are done right here. We're going to take a look at the stats now. So just again, make sure that the numbers all match up the same as mine. And then we're going to head now. Go on your map. We're heading to Mullen's newsstand. Very 1940s. Oh yeah, new standard stuff. We've got new personal info. Have a look at the comic book collectible, which is right again on the pavement, sort of close to the car, very close to the newsstand. So that should be a fourth out of ten now. And then we're going to do the whole thing. Speak as many times as you can to Mullen until you can no longer speak to him no more. And when you've done that, just literally ask every single question now. Hey, Mark. Nice girl. She used to come here for a while, but I... How's Desira? You know anything about... And that's all we're doing out here for now. We're just talking to the little otter, the old otter. And then we don't need to do anything else. So we this time we're heading back to the Gazar Club. The Zar Club. Zar Club. And then we're going to be speaking to Filmar right here. So again, just speak to him until the dialogue options are no more. Maybe. And we're done with this point as well. So back on your map, we're going back to Clawville PD. Clawville sounds so cute, but very serious at the same time. I love it. Uh, speak to Bloodboil. Bloodboil. Right here, or look at him. We're going to look at him a couple of times until the same dialogue keeps coming up. And then we're going to speak to him continuously until we cannot know mo. <laughs> Duty. I don't even care how childish that is. It's hilarious. Uh, so we're going <laughs> to speak to Monica, the receptionist, a couple of times as well. And then after this, we're heading back into the shooting range to speak to Morty. So yeah, in the shooting range, again, speak to Marty until all the dialogue is over with but he genuinely looks like at, from when this point he genuinely looks like he wants to knock our block off so it's high time we get our chicken neck balls out of here so that's the only reason we're sort of going back and forth between places we have to keep speaking to literally every character as many times as we can but we're going to head back to the hotel atlas where we're going to start our first investigation and it's all extremely easy enough so uh, start the investigation by pressing investigate obviously and then what we have to do then grab the cat which is natasha 
So drag her to the sort of person chalk bit there and then get the clue strange threats up to the question mark and then press A to link them together and then choose the option they were clearly addressed to her. Now again, it can be random, it might not be A for you, but as long as you choose they were clearly addressed to her, that is the option you need. Then choose the strange list item from the right hand side and put it over to the magnifying glass, and then again link it up. P press the A button and then link it up to Natasha, and then choose she kept it a secret. And then for the final one, what we're going to do is drag the rabbit, which is Lewis, just drag him over to the empty space, link that up with the strange list of names, Again, using the A button, and then use, uh, but pick the option, he may know something about it. And as long as you copied exactly what I did there, this case closed sign should come up, and then you should be good to go. If it doesn't come up, it means that you picked a different option, which you will just have to go through it again. So, my best bet is to completely quit out the game, and then do it again if you do end up messing out. Uh, so now go to the phone, choose 555-932, and we're going to phone Lewis himself again. Hey Lewis, uh, sorry to disturb you. I and when Lewis pops in, again what we're going to be doing is just speaking to him until all the dialogue is good to go, and then we're going to ask him every single question, and then we're going to head up on the map to the sweltering Nile. So ask all the questions and then get your map out. What should we know? So believe it or not then, that is actually the end of chapter one. So we're gonna get an achievement for it now, but if you do like very um, good looking bodies. You're still not allowed to get excited because these women still have uh, the heads of animals. So have a look at the picture on the left there. Um, nice legs with a tiger head, I suppose. So again, just keep smashing that one out until the dialogue is good. Have a look at the picture on the very right hand side. We've got hairy tits. You, you can't go wrong with a hairy boob now and again, I suppose. And then have a look at the pictures on the very back wall again. Slamming out, I thought that was a dildo to be honest on the left hand side, but it's like a llama or lizard or something uh, So all three pictures Keep interact with them until the dialogue's done and then have a look at the foxy lady and keep speaking to her on the right hand side here Yes, yes, so and get don't be excited. We've got to z pull up a zip slowly So Just don't do it. Don't get turned on Just, just don't <laughs> But when we've uh, pulled up this foxy lady's dresses, we can now speak to the receptionist, uh, who is a zebra. Again, keeps slamming out the um, dialogue. Uh, zebra kind of looks like Manchester United's uh, third kit, doesn't it, really? Old Zebra Chester. But we're going to ask her every single question as soon as you're done with the speaking of the dialogue. So head for the door on the very left hand side, Miss Diamond is going to now get us in with Madame Zaywas. But the first thing we're going to do here is have a look at the tribal artifacts on the left. And again, just keep um, interacting with it until the dialogue's the same. Then have a look at the picture of Zaywas on the back. Again, hey, that's that's very hot, but you've got a crocodile for a head and you could literally eat my weenus. So I'm not into that. And then speak with Madame Zaywas directly. Again, just keep going to the dialogue is the exact same and then we're just gonna ha ask her every single question and then we'll be able to actually question her Lewis hey tell me have you ever do you know this place is so once we've asked all we want to ask now we can question her and obviously the first one's going to be who is behind the legend tell me were you really the king's spy why did you decide to open a brothel? Why did you decide if I guess who the cards belong to, will you tell me? Why did you take her in? Maybe you saw yourself in Natasha. Why did you take her in? Do you know where Natasha came from? Where Natasha is... Have you kept in touch? Have you kept in... When was the last time you saw her? And finally, how did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? And if you answered all those the exact same I did there, that's another 100%.
and another living legend rating. So, Madam Zaiwas, the wiener eating legend, I assume, with the, uh, with that kind of um, strong jaw. We're going to have a look at the dead clock at the very, very back, though. And we need to now set the time to 7.49. So, just get the little hand onto the sort of 7 first, and then just move the big hand up to just a little bit below 10. That will unlock a secret room for us. Which is always handy. Hidden door. This room is not. And what we're going to do first, then, have a look on the back wall, the pictures on the wall. Again, we're going to interact with both photos as many times as we can. Um, this room is a lot less sexy, to be honest, which is a shame. Not like the rest of the brothel. But there we have it. So back out, have a look at the strange book on the right hand side of the desk. Interact with it, and then a cutscene's going to happen. And we are going to be coming up now to a missable achievement. So basically, Madame Zaiwas, the weenus eating fanatical, I assume, she's basically going to tie us up. Now, what we'd have to do normally is like uh, click on the ropes, and then we'd have to do like a little mini game where we have to basically draw a line of how the ropes go so we can get out. But what we're going to do is nothing. That's right, we're going to die <laughs> three times. We are literally going to just leave it. We're going to burn up three times until we get the achievement, and then we can actually start it. So you can literally put your controller down for around six minutes because the timer takes around, I think it's about what a, a minute and 20 seconds for the timer to go down to zero. So there we go. If you, like, if you feel like a chicken tonight, then uh, just burn a life. Get it, cause Sonny's a chicken. <laughs> I'm hilarious. What a legend I am. Uh, so yeah, anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Awful joke. But yeah, so we've got to do that three times then. So you just gotta again leave it. We're gonna die three times. The achievement will unlock. And then Madam Zaiwas can uh, eat us like she's always wanted to. She's not eating our butt, she's eating us all. No, no, seriously, I've got to stop now. But once the achievement unlocks, then there it is. We've died. That should be the third time. Obviously, haven't shown you the full six minutes because, you know, it's a bit pointless. But now we can start. So, the start. This bit is easy, but it is the sort of top bit, which I had a problem with. As you can see, you've got to go quite high on Sunny's wrists there at the top. Because if the line goes completely, you've obviously got to start again. So it can, but as soon as you get past this first one, the rest of the knots are easy to follow. But it is literally just getting it past that first one. There it is. So we, <laughs> I mean, I do get there eventually. But again, you've still got quite a lot of time. As you can see, well, not on the video. Um, but <laughs> as you will be able to see, you do, like I said, get about a minute and a half to do this. So once you get past that first one, the rest should follow suit. and It's very easy, but take your time while going a little bit fast. So what now? So, happy days, we managed to escape, we end up in this little boat dockyard right here. So first things first, on the floor to the left is the next collectible, Cat Catchers. So make sure to pick that up before you talk to old Captain Marsh right here. And again, it's the same as we've always been doing. Uh, smash out all the dialogue as much as you can with him, and then we're just going to ask him every question. This, uh, uh, what? Do you know any? Have you heard the name? Once that's done, then whip open your map, and now we're going to Bubo's place. Remember to grab the collectible though before you leave. Bubo. Used to work Bubo. I still can't take Sunny seriously, by the way. He's such a suave, nice jacket, tiny little chicken head. Anyway, we get the killing achievement. That's for completing chapter two. And remember to grab the next collectible on the table right here, just to the left of Owl Face Bubo. And then we're going to, again, speak to Bubo as we've been doing uh, for the majority of the game so far until all the uh, dialogue is done. And then we're just going to ask him every single question again. 
love is still a what do you know so that ram and so my dinglings it's investigation time so click on investigate get Zaywas then to the f to the sort of bottom of the two chalkboards and Iban on the top uh, pin them together again using the A button and then choose the option Zaywas and Iban are working together bastards in cahoots and then from the list of clues choose Natasha's secret and then pull it up onto the question mark and then pin her with Iban on the top to the left and then the answer is Iban wants to hide Natasha's secret or was it Natasha herself so D number D wants to hide the tracks leading to Natasha's past and lastly then put up zip is a rat put it up on the question mark with Natasha's secret and then it's zip knows too much about Natasha's past and Wesler's dealings and then that should be case closed and we move on nice and from here then we're gonna whip open our map now and we're going basically back to the weekend house to just grab one collectible comic book that wasn't there before but is now so weekend house have a look on the Clawville police van right there on the bonnet is the next uh, comic collectible and those bloody porcupines are always there sniveling around seeing what's going on Blech. anyway off to the Zazar Gazar Club next so all the pie's over everyone's going home so we're gonna talk to Mort now so speak to Mort again smash out all the dialogue they can with him and we're gonna be nice actually so go ahead and speak to Lewis again smash out all the dialogue that we can with Lewis and basically we're gonna get Mort a room for the night are we just not look at that are we just not ladies do you want to come back to brothel with me chicken head no sorry we got we got a job to do we're after the sweltering Nile again so head through the door now and Zaiwas is gonna be like oh so the dead walk among us huh which we do and that's literally the only thing reason we came here just so Zaiwas knows we're alive so now we're gonna head straight back to the hot dog so in, that may seem pointless but we actually need to do that to progress the story to get all the achievements and that as well so speak to Timothy as many times as he can exhaust all the dialogue options again ask all the questions and then we'll be able to question him afterwards what do you know about so So, Timbo is a douche, as most journalists are, but we need to question him. So, what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? And why were you looking for us here, of all places? And why were you looking for Out with it, Tim! Who squawked? Out with it, Tim. What happened to Zip, Tim? To Zip, Tim? Timbo loves to Working on a new front page article, eh? Working on a new front As you're so well informed, Timster, tell me about Madame Zawas. As you're so well informed. Timbo, you pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? And finally, Zip was hiding something in the dog, right? And then, as long as you got the exact same answers I gave, that's another 100%, 9 out of 9, Living Legend rating. So we're good with Timbo for now, we're going to head inside and then we're actually going to interact now with the jukebox on the left hand side. Now if you've been following along, the exact, picking up the exact same thing that I have, talking to everyone, you should now get the song bird achievement. And that is for collecting all the songs for the jukebox. So you should have that by now. Break it at the very top where it just says break me, just press the A button on it and that gives us another item. Then we can head outside, Timbo's going to ask us something, but we are just going to fudge him off and we're going back to Mullen's newsstand. Look at what the wind of this... And all we're doing here then is speaking to Mr. Otto Mullen himself, basically just asking the rest of the questions and then after this... We are going to be doing a sort of uh, a little shootout, little car chase shootout mini game in which we are going to be getting a missable achievement. So ask him all the questions and then we're gonna head back to Clawville PD but like I said this is the first of two chase scenes again it's A to shoot and it's B to take cover and reload but what we're gonna be doing is getting the first missable achievement and that's for shooting out both of the car lights it can be quite difficult to sort of get a name but again you can literally if you don't get it you can literally just keep retrying you got an infinite number of tries but try your name as soon as you get both lights out that is where the missable achievement comes into it 
and then I actually die here. So you've got basically two health bars. So you've got your health bar at the bottom and the car's health bar at the top. So my advice is to just keep shooting out the tires. That damages their car um, incredibly to no end actually. So just keep on shooting out their tires. Again, you know, be careful. Take cover and reload. Whenever they stop shooting, that is the best time to get out and shoot. Whenever they are shooting, just um, hold on to B to keep uh, cover. But when you're, it's just easier when you're doing it side by side. Keep hitting the tires, and you will eventually get it. Again, it's not too difficult, but it may take a few tries to do it. As soon as you hit them enough, then we. Uh, make it to the police station. Those porcupine little nosy bastards are still there outside. But once we head inside, we're going to be talking to Blood Boil first. Again, just smash through the dialogue as we've been doing throughout the entire game. Still here. Still. Then we're going to speak to Zip, do the exact same thing, smash through the dialogue. He does look quite pathetic there, doesn't he? Hey, please don't hear me, wee! Anyway, now we're going to go and speak to Monica. We're going to ask her about Zip. That's all we're going to do. Ask her one question about Zip. And then what we're going to do is ask Zip about the strange wristband. And then after this, we can now question him. So get your pencils out or just, you know, listen and copy exactly what I do on screen right here. So who did you escape from and why? How did you manage to piss off Ibn Wesler? What did you have to do for Ibn? What did you have to do? Zip's a secret... So, a dead body, huh? But what kind exactly? So, a dead body. If they let you out, what do you expect will happen? If they let you out. Why did you keep that wristband? Why did you keep... What happened to the body, what Zip? To the body, Zip? Zip may be sick. So, he wanted them to blame all the insects. Why would he do that? So, he wanted to blame it all... And finally, I'm asking you for the last time... What's the wristband? And that should get you another 9 out of 9, 100% Living Legend rating. So, you're telling so, so we're going to have a little stat check now. We haven't done one for a while, so left on the D-pad, get your books out, lads and lad yeses. Have a look at your stats. Make sure that your numbers are exactly the same as mine. If you've been following along, they should be. And now we can head off to Boo Boo's place. Booby's place. Boo Boo's place. And we've got, god damn, there's some big old bear titties in. Jeez. Uh, anyway, now we're going to uh, ask Bubo all of the questions. So go ahead and just go through the entire list. Oh. So, uh, just one more. That rat you mentioned. And then get out your map. We're going back to the Hotel Atlas for an investigation again. Selves. Take a deep. A secret twin. What do you think, Marty? So speak to Marty and let's investigate. So get the possible suspect. We are looking at Iban, which is Ratface on the very left hand side there. So drag him up. And the clue is Natasha's secret. So drag him up. And then pin them together, and it is Natasha was a cut as Anne before, and Ivan tried to keep that a secret. That's obvious. And Ivan wanted to keep. Next up, have a look at the items. We're going to be looking at the wristband there. So drag that one over, connect it to Ivan, and then it's Zip dealt with the body and kept the wristband to himself. Died for that secret. Zip hid the body. And finally, on the clues, we're going for Wessler's twin. So drag that up to the question mark. Connect it with the wristband and then choose Albert Wessler, the resident of an insane asylum. And then that should close the case. There it is, and we can move on. By the way, Zip. So, he may seem snivelly, cowardly, and pathetic, but he is actually quite smart in ruining something. Very much like a certain Boris Johnson. <laughs> anyway, ask Marty all the questions, as you can see there. So, we're going to ask Marty absolutely everything. And then we are going to use the phone once again and call the asylum, which is 555-966. Hello, you've called. 
So for the first very small part then, just keep speaking with Marty again until the dialogue options run out, and like so. And then we're going to use the phone once again. This time we're going to phone Lewis, which remember the number is 555932. And then this chapter will end, and we're going to head on our way to the Insane Asylum. By the way, we've only got a roughly around 10 to sort of 12 minutes left of the game now. Hey, Lewis, it's, uh, it's me. So another game has been quite stingy with achievements so far, but these last 10 minutes we are going to unlock a crap ton. And the first two we are going to unlock right here, that's for completing chapter 3, as we get to the insane asylum. And we're going to speak with big old giraffe neck. Uh, as, well, we're going to have a little check of our stats first again, make sure the numbers are all correlated and all good to go there. Then we're going to have a look with Miranda on the right hand side, the receptionist. She is a super fan, which, hey, to be honest, I mean, look at us. We are goddamn sexy chickens. We look good in an oven. Anyway, keep <laughs> slamming out until the dialogue's the same, and then we're going to ask Miranda absolutely everything. What can you say about... So when can we talk... Dr. Quetzal will... Where is he? So we're asking where he is. He's right in front of us is old Dr. Snake. It's a snake. But it is Dr. Quetzal, so, as we've been doing, speak until all the dialogue is all good. Then we're going to ask him absolutely everything on the list, and then we'll be able to question him. Tell me, Doctor, do you know... So, let us begin. So, when did Albert become a resident of your institute? What kind of special treatment did Albert get? What kind of special treatment? How did you see Albert when you first met? How did you see Albert when you first Are you telling me Albert had multiple personalities? Albert had when and why did Albert leave the institution for the first time? So Albert had left on many occasions to continue working on the painting. So Albert left on many occasions. Dr. Quetzal is cold. Maybe it's not easy for you to talk about it, but did you examine his wounds thoroughly? Concentrate, Doctor. What do you think happened to Albert? And finally, what happened to Albert? How did he disappear? And that should, once again, be 9 out of 9, 100%, and the living legend. Rating. So, speak again with Dr. Quetzal, and then we're going to go into Albert's room. There's a few things we're going to be grabbing. The first one is in the form of the collectible book, which is on the right-hand side desk on the lamp. The Handful of Waffles. So grab that before you move on and have a look at the creepy mural. And at the bottom right hand side, you can see there's like an M just above the house there. So we need to basically draw that. So it's like a, a sort of little M just above the houses. Draw that and then this little cutscene is going to happen. And then on the left hand side, we're going to be looking at the writing desk. Looks like you need a lot to do, but it's not. We're going to look at the photo of the Wesslers. We'll take that and then the... Big uh, Albert's letter, the one with the sort of big sign on it. We're going to take that as well. And that's all we need to... So, we're going to be nosy now. So, go into your bag and then scroll all the way down to the letter. And then press A to open it up. We're going to take a little look. We've got to be nosy. That's our job. I don't have a job like that, but I'm still a nosy biased. So, we're going to back out and we're going to head back to the Hotel Atlas now. So, get your map out. Go back to the Hotel Atlas. But the second out of two chase scenes are going to happen. Nothing is any different from the first time. Remember just to always aim for the other guy's tyres. And uh, every time he's shooting, duck in your car and reload. And when he's not shooting, get up and just keep shooting the tyres as best you can. Go on, you got this! Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake. Can you drive like you're not a fucking lunatic? Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. Are you blind or what? Where did you learn to shoot? Whew. 
So, with that done, congratulations on doing that. No more chase scenes, but we're going straight into another investigation. So, possible suspects, get Natasha out. Get your pussy out and put them on the board. <laughs> and then get the painting piece from the items and connect the dots. And then choose Natasha tried to show us the painting. Natasha tried to show us the painting. Then go ahead and grab the photo from the list of items and then put that on the board and connect it to Natasha and then choose to Iben and Albert Wessler, Albert painted Natasha and so on. Albert painted Natasha. Then from the list of clues, choose Fateful Love, link it up with the photo and then this is important, choose fell in love with Natasha and on a fateful night he killed his brother so we could take his place and steal Natasha's heart. There is another one that also says um, fall in love with Natasha, but that is the wrong one. So just make sure you do that one then. Then we're going to end up outside. Now we're going to ask Marty everything on the list there. Do you think the asylum... So what's the... So what... Then just keep looking at Lewis. Just keep looking at Lewis until the dialogue is the same and then we can move on into the entrance. Did you forget any? Should I say? So then all we gotta do here is speak to Marty as many times as we can before the dialogue again ends the same. This shall now unlock us two achievements. Shadows from the past two and as long as you've been following the guide to a T uh, hopefully you have. That should also unlock you the librarian achievement for getting all of the codex entries. So have a look in the cabinet as well. But this is it. Now we're just going to head back. So get your map out and go back to Mullen's new stand. There's going to be a very sneaky collectible that we that is can be quite tricky to find, and it is. On the newsstand, on the magazine stand, on the right hand side, on the bottom left. So that is one collectible that can be quite tricky to find, but make sure to grab that before moving on. But otherwise, we're going to speak to Mullen and ask him everything again. You know, Doc, what do you know about? Next, get your map out, and then we're going to be heading over to Bubo's place. And this time we're just going to be speaking to Ursula. God damn them giant old bear titties. Damn girl. Anyway, speak to Ursula until all of the dialogue runs out. And then we're going to be going to the weekend house. But this is the only time you can actually speak to old big boobed Ursula there. Um, with the tidy bit of dialogue. So now again, map out. Down to the weekend house. Or the whore house apparently. And then go ahead and head inside. In you know, Sonny. And all this does then is unlock another achievement for us, Shadows from the Past 1. That is for talking to Marty about his feelings before confronting Wessler. So, take a look at your stats again, make sure that we are all coupled up and we're looking good, baby. And now we're going to head off to the Hot Dog to unlock another achievement. Now the influx of achievements starts hitting us quicker than a bunch of wieners in the face. If you're into that thing, of course. Um, take a look at the old car if you want, but we have, you should again, if you've been following the guide, should now have that achievement unlocked as well. So now we are going to the end part of the game, the Wesler Residency. Here I am, Natasha. I furry god. So, there's only one place to go, and that is the entrance. But we're going to be stopped by Gabriel the cat. So again, that's what we're going to be doing, speaking to the cat until... The dialogue is all run out, and then we can move forward. This must lead. So just go ahead and speak to Bird Brain Olivia, and then, ooh, ooh, sexy, sexy, sexy. Ah, no, you got a pussy on your head, and not a good kind man. You're a bloody cat. Ah, ah, nah. Anyway, we're gonna speak to Natasha as many times as we can until again the dialogue is run out, which I think is only once actually that time yes it was only once so with that being said we can now move to the right hand side of the stairs and confront Ibn Ibn the first thing we're going to do look on the bed this should now be the last collectible which that looks weird as well farewell from foul so that should get you all the 10 ch chicken police novels that should be that achievement and then we can actually go ahead and look at the painting above the bed then as well 
It's unbelievable how much pussy he has on one head. Um, but just <laughs> keep looking at it, and then that should be good. We can now actually speak to Wesler. And that should unlock the achievement, the social type for talking with all the characters in the game, finally. So, hopefully you should have got that as well if you've been following along. So check your stats, make sure that we are all good to go. It was a bit of a pain, but we got there in the end. So, ask Wesler everything. Then question him to reveal the terrifying truth. Oh my god, he pulls out his little tiny gun on us. Which will hurt, because since we've got a chicken head. So, question, what, what are you, you thinking, thinking, Albert? When did you decide to take your brother's place? Why did, you decide to did you ever believe that you were Ivan Wessler? Did you ever believe that... So you feel that you're two people at the same time, even now? So you feel you're... That was your plan? Take his place and live happily ever after? Was your plan. I must... When was the moment you decided to kill him, Albert? Do you think you can explain everything with your sanity, or insanity even? You think you can explain? When did you decide that we too have to die? I'm very close to Natasha was kind to you, right? Natasha too kind. kind. And very finally, maybe it's not too late, not Albert, too late. tell her the truth and end this. So that should get you 10 out of 10, 100%, and then if you have been following along, like I said, you should have got this achievement for completing all the questionings with the Living Legend rating. Plus another one, that is for Sherlock Holmes, that's basically for completing the game with zero failed questionings. And this is it, this is all we've got to do now, so basically we've just got to talk to everyone. So have a look at your stats again, this one is just a story related achievement right there. And this is where literally the influx just keeps hitting you, so we get four already, straight here. Uh, so have a look at the uh, Rat Knight, we're going to look to Filmar. And um, we're just going to speak to Filmar. This is all we're going to be doing now, is basically talking to everyone. Psychiatrist. Uh, that's for getting all the personal information as well. So that's five. That's just flooded you immediately. So, this is all we're going to do. We're going to talk to Blood Boil now. This is going to get us another achievement for disturbing Blood Boil's peace three times. Like I said, the only there's only three times you get to speak to him through the game. And as long as you did... If you were following along, you will have got this achievement as well. Speak to Monica as well. Do you fancy a date? Do you want to peck what I've? Do you want to peck my little ball seeds? Up to you. Uh, speak to <laughs> speak to Timothy. Then go ahead and speak to Natasha. Now you, I don't think you have to keep uh, exhausting all the dialogue options, but I still do. It's, um, to be honest, we've been used to it throughout the game, so that's why I keep on doing it. Speak to these three, Olivia, um, Bosco, and Gabriel the Cat, and then the game will end and unlock us another two achievements. So we're going to get our picture now. Lovely, thank you, Timbo. So that's it, pictures at an exhibition. And what this should also get us is the um, all collectibles achievement as well. Like, there it is, true collector. So again, hopefully, you would have unlocked everything that you've seen me collect and everything, and you would have got absolutely all the achievements so far. Uh, Chicken Police is back together. That's another achievement for reaching the ending. And you're also going to get an achievement for watching this secret ending as well. About what exactly? And there, that one is then, that is that, and we'll get another achievement right now for uh, watching all of the cutscenes, or unlocking all of the cutscenes. Oh, baby, so that should leave us with one left, and we'll get it within the first couple of minutes, and that is basically for getting a Frank Drebin, which is the worst um, sort of rating on a question. So start up a brand new game right here, and of course we're able to uh, get a questionnaire going with the giraffe neck lady right here so speak to her Deborah of course again it's going to tell you sort of how to do it but we don't need to do that no more but you can't just pick any ones you've got to pick a certain one so who exactly are you ma'am you're not very confident are you sure you're all right you're not very did you come alone by yourself did you come alone do you even know what you want do you even know what you want? Were you born and raised in Clawville? Were you born and raised in... 
Why did you come to visit me? Why did you come to visit? We avoided the point long I'm sure it's not intentional, but are you toying with me? I'm sure it's not in This is just too risky for me. I can't take the case. This is just too risky. Are you in some sort of jam? Are you in some sort Have you ever truly felt vulnerable? Vulnerable even? <laughs> Have you ever felt true? Tell me, Deborah. Why should I even believe you at all? Tell me, Deborah. And finally, be, be honest, honest and tell me what you're afraid of. That will unlock the, that's 12 out of 12 questions asked. Those questions asked will give you the Frank Drebbing achievement. And that will be that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the game and the guide. And we had a good couple of laughs along the way. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon, as well as my other Patreon supporters. But I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.